This is Dr. Lou Sella, Doctor of Sport and Performance Psychology. Okay, trapping versus the M stun, something you gotta practice. When an M stun is, it's a Paul Johnson term for when you get a two and a 20 technique. The two slants one way, the backer blitzes the other way. So you wanna do it on both sides. The two will either slant in and the backer goes out, meaning he replaces the down guy and blitzes through the B gap. So if the two goes here, the backer goes there. Now, why do you want to practice the trap against this? Okay, so the tackle, he's going to release to block the backer. So if the backer blitzes B gap, no problem. He's going to get in front of him with his left knee, left hand, forward, forward, bounce steps. But now, if he, this guy slants out and he goes in, he might miss on him because he can't get there. Then he'll just end up going to the safety. But the guard who's blocking down will pick up the backer. This is why it's important to have a three and a half foot split. So then he blocks the backer coming down. Okay, and then the tackle ends up on the safety. That's why I always say the tackle has the mic to the free. This is an example of that. The center, you want him anticipating the situation where if this guy goes this way, but this guy goes that way, now he's the A-gap defender, so he'll block back on the backer. This is why it's important for the tackle to block the spine of the center. And then this is important, Emerson on this side, the guard is not trapping a person. He's trapping an area. He's trapping the first defender off the guard first defender off the guard. So he might end up trapping the backer because if the backer blitzes, he becomes a defensive lineman. This is why it's important to train your offensive lineman's visual, condition them visually for this situation. Because the guard's blocking down very well, he'll end up picking up the blitzing backer. Otherwise, he'll end up going next level. Could be this guy if he scrapes across. But the center's blocking back. He blocks back at whoever shows. So if the two slants out, backer replaces, the center's going to block the backer. The guard's trapping whoever shows off the guard's play side hip. Working to get his helmet to the left, right for him, driving that player out of bounds. The tackle opens flat, runs behind the center, blocks the spine of the center. Practicing trap against the M stunt is very important and good chance it's going to pop wide open for you. Now, there's a lot of time where if the guard gets across the two and he's supposed to pinch A gap and the guard beats him across, that the guard will end up trapping him and then the backer really just gets ear rolled by the tackle and then they're really screwed. Now, I know I'll get the question, well, what if the guard blocks down and the two pinches into him? Does he wash him down? Well, ideally, that's not what you want. But if he beats him across his face, I mean, he blocks whoever shows so he wouldn't have a choice. But if he goes that hard, remember the void that's going to be created there. So a lot of good things can happen. You want to practice trap against the M stunt. The M stunt is it looks like the letter M. The two technique goes one way, the backer replaces the down guy, it looks like the letter M. Practice trap against that, and you're on your way. Quarterback's gonna jump play side, point the ball over to center. B-back's landmarks never change. Through the ball, through the play side, hit with the guard, through the end zone. Visual conditioning, that's what the M stunt helps you do on trap. It conditions everybody's eyes to block areas, and not the area first, then the human second. That's what, why you want to practice this situation. And coaches, if you want to win big in 2024, call me right now. 570-332-0265. 570-332-0265. And go to tripleoptionfootball.com slash testimonials, where you can see all the success stories that have come from the camps and the academy. And I'll see you later.